kind of don't know how to start this. I've been talking about doing a podcast for a while now. Um, I guess I'll start by introducing myself. My name is Jamir Goodman. Um, I plan on naming this podcast the um, Ment- Mental Wealth. Uh, hmm. Let me talk about my life. Uh, well, not about my life, but a um, little intro to me, you know. Um, first things first, I say, um, I've been telling myself I wanted to do a podcast since like, it's probably been three, three or four years now. And I would say, um, it's been a mixture between anxiety and procrastination as to why I haven't done it. Um, I don't know. I I guess it's just kind of one of those things where you just, you try to make sure you do everything perfect. And, um, yeah, it just, it's, it's just been kind of, kind of hard doing the planning and everything because first I, I know I'm interesting, but I don't know if I'm interesting enough for other people to want to watch me. So, or even care about the ideas I think, or how I feel about certain subjects. And yeah, I just kind of messed up my wrist and my, uh, I got a bone bruise going on and a busted blood vessel too. So make sure you keep me in your prayers um let me hmm. when i also think about like what's like made this so difficult for me i would just say like the simple fact of like i've never seen nobody do it um and then it's just like i watch podcasts all the time so i've always tried to make sure like i'm being like as interesting as possible and i kind of feel like i'm not as interesting as some other people um, but it's just comparison, you know, they say comparison is deep of joy, so that's all been on me, because, I mean, it's my first, it's my first time doing it, for all we know, I could be the best to ever do it, and you know me, I think I'm the best to do everything. Uh, I'll talk about my current situation, um, right now, I'm in Athens, West Virginia, um, uh, at Concord University, getting a master's degree in social work, um, I would say being in West Virginia is definitely a culture shock and like a big difference from being in South Carolina, specifically Greenville, South Carolina. Um, It makes me really see like how like where I live is like definitely the city compared to West Virginia. West Virginia is like, it's, it's its own kind of place. Like I can't even compare it to anything else. I heard somebody reference, um, West Virginia's country earlier today and it completely shocked me because this is I'm from down south and that's as country as it get. I'm from South Carolina. They started the Civil War. It get no more country than it. So I'm like, if y'all trying to say this country, you in the wrong place. But um I was, it's definitely been a culture shock. Um there's no soul food here. Grew up off soul food, so I mean you know how that is. I've been losing weight since I got here. I mean, it's kind of hard to keep maintaining weight. Um, I would say the people in West Virginia, though, I see, like I see why people stay here because the people in West Virginia are amazing. I, I can't take it away. Everybody I've met, like they just like I can just be walking around, like I can just be walking down the road, and I can just have a random conversation with like. A random person they literally like it's a great conversation overall i went to the post office last week and had an amazing conversation with the lady over there um i also heard about gin singing i never knew that you can walk around west virginia and literally hike and find ginseng root but this it's been pretty cool somebody told a buddy of mine from here he told me that um it goes for like 1100 a pound i'm not sure about that but if you do, I'm doing the wrong thing right now. I need to be out there ginseng. Uh, what else about West Virginia? Amazing views. I just, every time I ride around, like, I probably, and that's another thing I hate about the school, too, because the school is, there's, like, no, like, restaurants or anything around the school um, and around the town that the school is in, but all the restaurants are, like, 16 miles down the road so you literally like you want to go to chick-fil-a or anything you really have to really want it and the gas station closes at like nine here too so it's kind of insane 
I wouldn't even know what to do. Like, I just don't even move my car most of the time up here. I'm not even gonna lie to y'all. Um, dang. I can talk about the season. Um, I would say going into this year, I had really like, I had really, I had really high expectations on the year, just because we we finished nine and two last year, so I wouldn't have expected anything uh, to come up short. Uh, right now we're 0 and 6. Um, I've never been 0 and 6 in my life, so it's definitely a learning experience. I reached out to plenty of my friends and stuff like that. Like I played football with, just like them, like just to see like like the things that we need to work on. That like what's missing from the team, like what's been missing from like a winning team and stuff like that. Um, I can talk about my part in it. Um, Shit, currently I didn't play yesterday. Uh what it was. I I currently it's like it's been about like four games this we played six, it's probably been four games I didn't play this year. Um there's definitely been no fault. I would say there's been no fault of my own. Um I would say the um It's been hard because I got a new defensive coordinator and like for ever since I've got like ever since he's got the job, he's like, I, I guess he wants me to prove myself to him or something like that. And I, I, you know me, I came from Coastal Carolina and stuff like that. I mean, I've already won two rings. I have a winning career record. I mean, I've, tr I've literally wanted everything I've done in my life. It's rock, paper, scissors, anything. And I've always been a hard worker and stuff. So I've never had no problem with proving some, proving to somebody that I've, I'm a good player. But I feel like at this point, I've already proved um, what I can and can't do. And so it's kind of, it's kind of not really on me at this point. Um, I mean, I've, I've literally like, I could, if, I can put the film out if y'all want to see it, but like I'm, I'm literally out playing people and I'm still like riding the bench. So I really don't understand um, my current situation, but I know it's definitely contributing to us losing because I've never been 0-6 and I didn't play. I mean, I've never lost games and I didn't play like this. I mean, I've never been in this situation. It was a lot different when I was at Coastal Carolina because, I mean, one of my friends was starting over me. He was an All American, and my other friend was uh, had been All Conference, and we we all were the same age. So he had started since we were freshmen. So it was kind of hard to move up in that situation. But I feel like in this situation, it's kind of different because I started last year, and then I come in this year, and then now I'm not starting no more, and I have a whole new defensive coordinator, and I don't know like. And then it's kind of crazy too, because it's like. Um, it's kind of the situation has me so frustrated that I haven't played offense since like high school, and it's had me like asking like our offensive coordinator to switch, like to switch to play receiver. Because at this point, I feel like I've proven myself enough to the point that I, I at this point, if I feel like I still have to prove someone how valuable I am, I just don't even want to play it anymore. Um. Also, and that's the only part like I just don't like about like. I love football and I've loved football since I was six years old and been this tall and stuff like that. Shit, football was the only way I thought it was to even be successful, to be honest. I mean, I didn't realize I could be successful doing other things that didn't revolve football until I was in like like a junior in college. And so like I mean it's definitely been a journey for me. But I've the main part I've hated about football is because um at one point, football, like, I'm, I'm still, even even now, like, football is still, like, part of my identity. And then, like, a lot of times, like, dealing with, like, coaches and, like, different situations, you're only as valuable as another man sees you. And I kind of hate that because um, in no other, like, no other profession or... Um, anything like you don't go to work like you're not like it's, it's just like in business you're not judged off that like but like like in business you're judged off what you produce in like other in other fields and stuff like that but I feel like in this situation like it's not like it's it's not really production it's politics 
so it's like kind of like been hard in my situation um because it didn't matter like it doesn't matter what i do like i'm clearly seeing that now it, it obviously doesn't matter what i do uh my situation don't change what well, hasn't changed so far we're still 0 and 6 um it honestly has me thinking about going back home but i i never quit on anything but it definitely makes me like question it just because i like i rode the bench like my whole time like at coastal carolina like i went in the games knew when i wasn't going to play and like that did something like that did like a lot to me like mentally like like i still like like i still be like i catch myself like being a little off about that just because like um just like I said earlier, football is a part of my identity. So I just like it affected like every relationship like I had. Like if I wasn't playing, like I would just run around mad all day. Like I'll be mad about me not practice, me not getting any reps and then like me mad about me not playing. It didn't affect the way I would do my schoolwork. Like it just affected every aspect of me. So I felt like um when I was transferring and stuff like that, um I was honestly content on not playing anymore because um, the whole transfer portal process is it's it's hell in itself because you literally can go anywhere like and I'm talking to schools from everywhere so it's like I could end up anywhere like but the main place I just wanted to end up somewhere where I was wanted um and I'm definitely wanted here I can't I can't take that away I mean. But I don't know. I, I would say like the change up with the coaching is kind of taking the toll on me. Um, I honestly wanted to do like, like I, I like I see how Draymond does his podcast and like he'll like he'll record like at like right at the game like post game experiences and stuff like that. And that's kind of honestly what I wanted to do. But like, I'm pretty sure you guys don't want to see some. I mean, like we're losing, so it's kind of like hard to like interview somebody or even talk about like your opinion on the game. Cause I mean, like we got our we got our ass kicked yesterday. What was it forty two to nine? I've never lost. I mean, I've never been losing like this in my life. But um, I didn't play, and then it was a three hour bus ride there and a three hour ride back on a Thursday night. So I didn't get back until like one forty two in the morning. I mean, literally, like I just, I drank myself to sleep last night. Like that's how, <laughs> that's how pissed off I was. I just been pissed off about the whole situation itself, just because I felt like, um, I feel cheated, and I could understand like, like I would say like the different situation. Like I would say like what made me feel different about like my situation. I was at Coastal Carolina, is because I did. I feel like I got beat out. But also my confidence was like a problem in it. Like if I'd have been more confident about like how good I actually am and like just like not as down on myself about it, then like I probably would have been in a lot better position. But um yeah, I feel like it's like a whole different scenario over here and then like I'm still like put back in the same situation. So I'm like at this point I'll just go home. Like <laughs> I don't know, cause that's like I I I have like a lot of friends who play like college football and like all of them like I don't know like when I talk to them like about like their experiences like all of them can like tell you the same like football like most like players like D1, D2 it doesn't matter what school you're at like most of most people I know like this like football definitely takes a toll on you and especially like college football because it's just like I would say like it was it's a lot I wasn't ready for. Well, I wouldn't even say I wasn't ready for it. Um, I would say I should have been, uh, I should have got my mind, I should have been more serious younger. And I feel like that's what messes up like a lot of players is because they're not as serious about it. Because you're dealing with a man who just, he just got the head coaching job. He's not trying to get fired and stuff. He's really trying to put food on the table. And that's kind of like a big difference between being a, a young kid coming straight out of high school. So I say that was, that's what kind of messed me up when I was at Coastal. But when I came over here, it was just, I mean, I've been, I feel like I've been all business and still, like, especially this year. I feel like I've been all business and been getting bullshitted. So, it's definitely a learning experience. Um, I've probably been all over, I've probably been all over, um, in this little episode, um, uh, 
It's really, it's it's not, I, I was, yeah, it's more like a vent. I'm really just venting. I really don't care if don't nobody watch this. I mean, I hope somebody watch it. Um, it'll probably give them some comfort. Because I know plenty of people who say they want to start podcasts. I know plenty of people who, who felt the same way I felt. I mean, I just, I'm, I'm just sitting in my room on a Friday evening, just like, man, bump it. Like, I just finished up my homework. I'm finna just start to shoot the episode. I'm probably gonna edit it, put it up, probably like in a few days or something like that. See if it, see how it does. Um, yeah, I mean, shit. you see, clearly see the day I'm in the college dorm, I'm in my little dorm room and stuff like that. There's not really much to do out here in West Virginia. I don't even know what I'm gonna do tonight. I mean, I can't even show my face around the town or campus because we're literally losing every game. So it's like, I don't even want to wear any football clothes. <laughs> like, I don't want to wear no football stuff, like, walking around just because I don't even, you know how it is. <laughs> um, yeah, let me, let me close out, man. If you guys enjoyed today's vending session slash first podcast episode, uh, please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe on the video. And I'll be back with you guys with more sessions like this because it's actually kind of therapeutic. Peace.